people tie their shoes but I think most people graduated to the loop swoop and pull I think that's the more traditional way to tie your shoes I still use the bunny ears the bunny ears works perfect I get a nice tight tie but I'm curious does anyone else use bunny ears method to tie their shoes this morning the schedule calls for a nice and easy one hour run and within that hour I'll get about 7.5 miles in now this is probably like one of my shortest runs that I'll do throughout this prep. And I'll have some of these throughout the, the down weeks. We're wrapping up a down week right now. Normally, Monday through Friday, I'm running anywhere from 9 to 11 miles each morning because it's based off time. Each morning either calls for a 1 hour 15 minute run or 1 hour 30 minute run. As of right now, where we're at in the program, leading into the Rocky Raccoon 100 miler in February, Things will change a little bit, and then next weekend, my big run will be about 21 miles. And I was thinking about this this morning. I woke up, drank my coffee as normal, stretched, came out here, put my shoes on, getting ready to run before heading into work. Consistency compounds. I've said that before. I'm going to say it again. I firmly believe it, that when you're consistent, you keep showing up and just chipping away and just and just pushing the needle a little bit further, it gets you to where you want to be, or in some cases, a lot further than you ever expected you would be. And I picked up the camera this morning, and I thought back to the first time I ever picked up a camera. It was in 2014, right when I got to Texas. It was uncomfortable, it was awkward, it was hard, but I was just consistent with it. And with now more than 700 plus uploads on YouTube and building a brand and telling a story, through this this device right here, it's been powerful. And the only reason it's been so powerful is because I've been consistent with it. So stay committed to the consistency because I promise you, it compounds over time. Just like these runs. Just like this 7.5 mile run I'm doing this morning. Just be consistent with it. Run is completed. 7.5 miles in one hour, two minutes at an 8.16 minute per mile pace. Beautiful. This morning, the strongest way possible. Three fish oil, one serving of strong multivitamin, one serving of strong joints, and then in the shaker bottle I have strong greens, strong reds, and electrolytes. Oh, oh, Eight pills, just like that. Easy. Breakfast that never gets old. My morning protein sludge bowl. It's a combination of sweet, savory, nutty. I absolutely love it. And to make it easy for you guys to reference, I've made a blog post with a recipe. Ingredients, directions, everything. It will be in the description box below to my morning protein powerhouse sludge bowl. Mm. A shame. Think something new under the sun. Mm. You can't take back 
some things you already done done. So I like using the opportunity when I'm driving to and from work to listen to audiobooks. And I've been on a huge Seth Godin kick lately, listening to Purple Cow. Purple Cow was great. And then Tribes. And then This Is Marketing, all by Seth Godin. And there was this one quote he said in one of the books. I believe it was Purple Cow. No, it was probably Tribes, actually. The quote was, if you focus on success, over commitment, you will never have either. And I think about that a lot in terms of building a team, building BPN, taking care of the employees, the staff, the team members. If you focus on success over commitment, you will never have either. That's a knowledge nugget for you. If I've ever heard one. Now, before we dive any deeper into this video, I want to let you know it is sponsored by Helix. I have a Helix mattress right behind me. Now, Helix makes customized bedding and mattresses to fit your specific needs and ship directly to your door in a box just like this. Now, when I say Helix makes customized mattresses to fit your needs, this is what I'm talking about. Before you purchase a mattress, there is a quiz on Helix's site. And that quiz is gonna ask you a series of questions. Like if you prefer a softer mattress or a harder mattress, if you are a back sleeper, a side sleeper, a stomach sleeper, if you're sleeping in the bed by yourself or with another person, and based off your responses, it will recommend a mattress for you. And me and Steph personally, we have the Midnight Lux. We have the Midnight Lux on all of our beds in our house and we love them. Now, another bonus is that when you purchase a mattress from Helix, it comes in a box like this, and we're about to open this up and show you how it kind of, boom, expands. But you have a 100 night sleep trial with the mattress. So after 100 days and 100 nights of sleeps, if you decide that this is not the mattress for you, Helix will pick it up for free. It ships for free and gets picked up for free if you don't enjoy it. And just like that, within a matter of five minutes, you go from having a mattress in a box to a mattress, all inflated and ready to go for your bed. It's, it's too easy. So if you are looking for a new mattress, go to helixsleep.com slash Nick Bear, get up to $200 off and two free pillows. Take the quiz and based off your responses, the, the site will recommend a mattress for you and it will be shipped directly to you so you can start enjoying a great night's sleep with Helix. coming down do you want him to kick it and then walk that way yeah you kick it and just walk this way yeah shoot a movie we're real professional out here <laughs> we got George Macy on the slate but we call it a clapper I am not an audio guy but I'm running audio Tyler is a two, DD, two higher yeah. actors and yeah, these right. are very high paid talent right here <laughs> yeah. shooting Black Friday skits um, yeah that's it. We're shooting Black Friday. Channeling <laughs> our inner greatness, our inner talent yeah. into this motion picture. Yeah, whatever this was. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's a full body experience here. While we're on the topic of consistency, I do want to give you guys a tip that we 
really take the heart here at BPN. That is optimizing your number twos through diet, hydration, supplementation, and last but certainly not least, this little thing down here that uh, we have on every single toilet at BPN. We've had it on here for months. I don't know why I haven't told you guys about this yet, but it's game changing. This, my friends, this is the Squatty Potty. The Squatty Potty allows you to get the proper ancestral leverage to maximize and optimize your number twos. Let me demonstrate. I never thought that filming YouTube videos would lead me to this point in my life, but hey, here we are. So let me demonstrate how this works. Typically, you know, I'm just gonna sit here. You'd sit just like this, right? But the Squatty Potty allows you to get into the best position possible. It opens things up and it's just, we haven't been disappointed. I doubt you will either. In all seriousness, there is an intent with all of this consistency talk throughout this video. It is the thing that I believe in the most that takes you to where you wanna be. And a lot of people will say, well, don't focus on motivation, focus on discipline. And that's great, but how do you focus on discipline? Like, what are the actions of discipline? And one of the actions of discipline is consistency. Maintaining consistency in something you're working towards in order to reach that objective, that goal. And I think this is the one thing that so many people miss. There are a lot of people that are inconsistent and that is the main reason they don't accomplish the things they want to. Whether that a personal goal, a business objective, a physical goal or milestone, anything. If you're not consistent, you will not achieve anything. And if you do, it's, it's probably just by this, this random luck. And that is the one thing that I've truly understood for the past decade plus of my life is if I'm consistent and I'm just pushing that needle further a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more each and every day, that compounds over time. And you will look back a decade later and realize how far you've come by learning so much through the act of being consistent. Every now and then, Steph and I decide to really treat ourselves. And when we do that, we order some of our favorite steaks from Snake River Farms. So this is a boneless New York strip black Wagyu. Sometimes we get the ribeyes too. The ribeyes are just Wagyu ribeyes, next level. But what we're going to do is throw these on the trigger and make some Wagyu steak tacos tonight for dinner. So I'm gonna salt and pepper these, throw it in the Traeger for 45 minutes, about 40 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes at 225, and then I'm gonna crank it up to 450 and do a reverse sear. So first step, we're gonna cook these steaks. Now as the steak is cooking right now, we're gonna prep our other ingredients for the tacos. Right here we have some flour tortillas from HEB that were made this morning, super fresh. We have cojita cheese, we're gonna chop up some cilantro, avocado, some of these sliced red fermented onions. I love pickled onions, love pickled onions. And then some of this truff spicy mayo. This is next level. They also make really good hot sauce, truffle hot sauce that I use on like my lunches with chicken and rice or chicken and potatoes. And this is just for the tacos. With this, we're making some broccolini and a Mexican style street corn. Now for the broccolini, we keep it pretty simple. We just lay it out on some parchment paper with an olive oil drizzle and nature's seasonings, all purpose spice, which has like a really good salt pepper flavor. And then we'll put it in the oven at 400 degrees for anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes.
I don't mean to brag or anything, but this is what a perfectly cooked, medium rare Wagyu New York strip looks like. That is beautiful. All right, little Mexican style street corn action. So what I did first is I boiled some corn and then I finished it off in the Traeger. What we're gonna add, not really any measurements, we're just gonna kind of wing it. We have some chili powder, throw some chili powder. Then we're gonna do some cojita cheese. We're gonna do a little bit of light sour cream. We're gonna add some of this truff spicy mayo. Not too much, just a little. And a little cilantro. And that's it. We're gonna mix this up. And that's gonna be the Mexican style street corn. I'm gonna film this clip and then I'm gonna dive into this meal. So we have the street corn. Steph says this is the best street corn we've actually ever made. Mine's already up. Ste Steph already ate hers. <laughs> It must have been good. Um, let me give it a try real quick. I personally yeah. love street corn. It is so good. Mm. Yeah, that truff hot sauce and the truff mayo is just so good. Um, we have a plate of broccolini here. And then the tacos, the steak tacos. Man, these things are loaded up. So, here we go. Those flavors. A shame. Mm. Think something new. Under sun. That's good stuff. Mm. That's good stuff. You can't take back some things. You're already done, done. No. You blame things that you do on somebody else. Now, as many of you know, we've been working on our pool project for almost a year now in our backyard. We haven't made too much leadway in the pool project. However, we had a monumental movement in our backyard project completed just recently in the past couple days, the dog run. So we put in a dog run that is turf and fenced in. It was a very pretty simple and basic install. They just cleared the landscaping, leveled it out with some sand, put a, a piece of turf down, and then we fenced it in so the dogs can just be back here in their little slice of heaven, running around and enjoying the backyard. It's not only gonna change a dog's life, but it will change our life as well. So during the nine months that we've been taking the dogs out on a leash and they haven't had the backyard, they've gained a couple pounds each. Ryder has a fat roll, Remy's just chunky, so we're taking the bear's bark boot camp. And we're gonna get you guys in shape! We're gonna get them back in shape. This is amazing, they love it. All right, so with that being said, Remy, can you sit? Can you sit? With that being said, we're gonna wrap up this video right here. I have both the dogs that are waiting to play. So I'm gonna throw this, and we're gonna end the video. Can you say, thanks for watching? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Here we go. One, two, three. Go, Dougie, go! We'll see you guys in the next video.